Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you how you can scan a document using your iPhone and share and save the document in PDF format. On your iPhone, open the Files application, tap on Browse, and if you have here the choice where you want to put the document, choose where you want to put it. I'm going to put it in the iCloud Drive. Tap on the three dots on the top and tap on Scan Document. And here you have the options on the top. The first thing I'm going to advise you to do is to change auto to manual. Otherwise, if you leave it on auto, it might scan the same page many times. So I'm going to tap on auto. It will be manual. The second option is if you want to change the color grading. I'm going to leave it as it is on color. And the third option is to configure the flash. So I'm going to leave it on auto also. Now bring the document and put it under the iPhone. And the iPhone will detect the document automatically. When the selection is correct, tap on the shutter here. And if you're satisfied with the result, tap on Keep Scan. And now if you want to take another page, just turn the page and also put the iPhone on top of the page so that it will detect it automatically. And then tap the shutter once again. So let's say here that we took this page. So you see here even you can drag these corners if you want to adjust it but here it's okay for me so I'm gonna tap on keep scan now before saving the document you can adjust it if you tap here on the corner and you see here you have the pages that you scanned for each page you can adjust it so here you have the adjustment you can for instance rotate it if you want you can crop it you can change the color also here if you want and you can delete the page and you can retake the same page also. So here for me, I don't want to change anything. And now let's tap on save to save the document. And here you can rename the document. So let me rename it my scan and tap on done. And now the document is saved in PDF. Now you have also many options that you can do. So let's tap on the document to show you the options. Here the first option you can do is that you can annotate on the document. So to annotate on the document, tap this icon here. And here if you tap on the plus, you can put text on the document and you can delete the text if you don't want it. You can add the signature also. So this is a signature I created before. I'm gonna create another signature here. So let's create another signature. Let's say it is here, KS t with this tap on done so this is a signature i'm going to add to the document you can also add the magnifier if you want for the document and you can also like highlight sections of the document if you want to and if you want to remove everything you can delete them and here also you can delete these if you tap and hold it you can delete the signature you can delete the magnifying and everything once you finished annotating the document Tap on done. So let me reopen the document and notice that it has two pages. An important option I'm gonna show you here is that you can lock the PDF if you wanna protect it with a password. So tap on the drop down list here next to the document's name and tap on lock PDF. And let's put any password, let's put Q only. And I'm gonna show you how it works. So now the document is locked, tap on done. So now the document is protected and you cannot see it without the password. So let's put the password. And then here you can share the document. So let me share it with the email. I'm gonna send it to myself. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna receive it on my PC and how it will be password protected and how it will display. Before switching to the PC, I wanted to show you one other thing that is important. So here, when the iPhone scanned the document, it detected also the characters. So you can here select the characters if you want. So you see, you can select the characters you want and you can copy them and pass them whatever you want. And one thing also I wanted to tell you is that the same application, the scan application, is also available under the notes application. But here I'm using it under the files application. So let's switch to the PC now to show you how I received the document, how it is protected and how it will display. So this is a document I received. Let me drag it to the desktop and show you how to open it and how it will display. So if I double click on it, 
you're gonna notice that it is password protected so let me put the password and tap on enter and this is the document as it was scanned i hope that you liked my video and you found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly and this way you'll not miss my future videos i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech i want to thank you once again for watching and see you in the next video